Okay, so here we are in Weymouth and we've reached the beach and the sea and the sunshine. Of course, Weymouth is going to be uh, one of the host places for the 2012 Games next year. Here's the, we have the beach, we've got the traditional things that you find at the seaside, Hunt and Judy, a harbour, lots of great shopping. So it's a great place to spend some time. So you can go further on to the pool or you can stay here, spend a bit of time and then head back. Um, I'll now be heading back, taking advantage of the fact that if you buy a particular ticket, you can stop off along the route. So we'll be doing that now. The Dorsoni Seventh Coast was designated a World Heritage Site in 2001 and all because of its fantastic geology. 95 miles between Exmouth and East Devon and Old Harry Rocks in Dorset, 185 million years are recorded and the fossils locked in those rocks record the evolution of life over that time through the Triassic, Jurassic and Cretaceous period. One of the best places to stop on a journey on the X53 is definitely Charmouth. However, if you come to come fossil hunting on a day like today, with the bright blue sky and the sun out, you've come on the wrong day. You need to come in the middle of winter when it's been really stormy and the sea's been crashing against the cliffs, eroding them and washing the fossils out onto the beach. That is the best time to come looking for things. So the sorts of things you might be able to find if you came fossil hunting at Charmouth. Uh, I've got a collection in front of me here. So the most famous thing on the coast has to be ammonites. We use it for the Jurassic Coast logo, one of the most recognisable fossils in the world. Um, and here are two examples of ammonites here that have been picked up on Charmouth Beach. There's also these things called bellumnites, these bullet-shaped objects from something called, uh, like a bit like a squid. And these are very, very common. Uh, there's also seashells like this one. Another name for these seashells is a devil's toenail, the name that comes from folklore. And also the rarer fossils, the actual bones of the large predators that lived in the Jurassic Oceans 200 million years ago. This is a backbone from an ichthyosaur. 